Okay, so here's a problem on solving trig equations. We have a singular argument, sine of theta squared, and then sine of theta, and then this is a domain. It's saying the answers are not going to be an infinite series of solutions. We're only going to take the ones inside that window. So going back a step, if I were in algebra, this would look something like 2x squared plus x equals 0. All right, this would be the x squared. That would be the x. And then in this algebra equation, I would factor out the common term. That common term is x. I'd pull that x out front, leaving me with a 2x plus 1 equal to 0. And the whole reason I do this, the whole reason I factor this, is if I could have things multiplied together equal 0, I could use the zero sum property to solve. So either x equals 0 or 2x plus 1 equals 0. So that's kind of the algebra equivalent. So I'm going to do the same thing here. There's a common term here. It's sine of theta. I'm going to pull out sine of theta out front. So I have sine of theta. Once I pull out sine of theta out of this quantity, I'm left with 2 sine of theta. And then I pull sine of theta out of this quantity, I'm left with a 1. And the whole reason I did that is so I could use a zero sum property. So either this thing right here has to equal 0, or this thing right here has to equal 0. So if sine of theta has to equal 0, don't forget that's always a fraction. That's the same thing as 0 over 1. What I'm saying here is my opposite is 0. My adjacent, no, my opposite is 0. My hypotenuse is 1. That could happen here at 0 degrees. It could also happen here at 180 degrees. Right. So those are my two reference triangles from here. And then I have to solve this piece here. So either this thing was equal to 0 or this thing's equal to 0. So 2 sine of theta plus 1 is equal to 0. Isolating my variable theta, I subtract 1 from both sides and get 2 sine of theta is equal to negative 1 from subtracting that 1 from both sides. Then I divide both sides by 2. Those cancel, and I have sine of theta is equal to negative 1 half. So that's going to happen where the opposite is negative 1 and the hypotenuse is 2. These are always going to be exact value problems. Or the opposite's negative 1 down here in the fourth quadrant and the hypotenuse is 2. So I go 1 squared plus what squared equals 2 squared? I recognize it is a 30, 60, 90 because the ratio of sides is 1 to root 3 to 2. I got that with the Pythagorean theorem. This is a 30 reference triangle and a 30 reference triangle. It's theta, so we're in degrees. Now what I need to do here is now I have all of my possible solutions, right? So what I'm saying here is theta is equal to the arc sine of negative 1 half. It is saying, what is my angle when my ratio is this? There's an infinite series of answers. It's this triangle, this triangle, 360 degrees plus this triangle. There's an infinite series. I don't want all of them. I only want the ones in this domain. And maybe the easiest way to look at this domain is from negative 180 to 0, and then 0 to 180. And I could say I'm going to go from 0 to negative 180. In that window right there, the ones that are going to work is going to be 0 degrees, negative 180 degrees, and then here, from 0 to negative 180, is going to be going clockwise, negative 30 degrees. And then this one right here, it's that terminal side. 30 is a reference, but the angle is negative 150. So those are all my solutions that work between 0 and negative 180. And then I'm going to look at all my solutions between 0 and positive 180. So all these up here. Well, there aren't any. And then all these up here, which will be 0 and 180. So I already have the 0 there, so I'm going to add the positive 180. So this is a series of all possible answers that will answer or solve this equation given this domain right here.